This is Troy Lewis, lead pastor of Steamboat Christian Center, and this is Vision Moments, an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced and connected to our vision to love God and to love people. Can't wait for you to hear today's episode. Hello, my name is Jeff Sublett. I oversee youth and outreach here at Steamboat Christian Center in beautiful Steamboat Springs, Colorado. SEC's Vision Moments is an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insight, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced, connected to SEC's staff and leadership, and also engaged in our vision to love God and to love people. So today, my big idea is what would the world look like if we had the same compassion Jesus did? See, we live in a social media technological world. We can't stop putting down our phones. The University of Michigan did a comprehensive study on 14,000 college students between 1979 and 2009, and it showed a sharp decline in compassion, which means we care 40% less than people did in 1980. Like, that's crazy. I mean, how does technology cause us to care less and be less compassionate. Well, number one, we're obsessed with ourselves. It's a, so, it's a selfie world, okay? Number two is the overwhelming exposure to suffering desensitizes us. I remember the first time I saw one of those commercials to, to feed hungry kids in Africa. Well, now 15 years later, I just zip past them on the remote control. And number three is the lack of personal interaction makes it easy not to care. See, the more I obsess over social media and technology, the more I care about myself. But the closer I get to Jesus, the less I care about me and the more I care about other people. And don't forget, we're called to love God and love people. The definition of compassion is the concern for the sufferings or misfortune of others. See, true compassion demands action. The word compassion in the Bi- is, is in the Bible 166 times. And I just want to show you just three of, of, of the ways that Jesus showed compassion. In Mark chapter 1, uh, he says, A man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus, begging to be healed. He said, If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Verse 41 says, Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out and touched him and said, I am willing. He said, be healed. Matthew chapter 14, he's, when Jesus landed and saw the large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Matthew chapter 20, Jesus had, yes, compassion on them and touched their eyes and immediately they received their sight and followed him. See, and, and there's tons of more incidents where Jesus was compassionate and helped people. See, compassion really hit me some months ago when I had a migraine. I I'm always the type of person that'll just push through headaches and being sick, and I have zero compassion for people who are just like, I can't, I can't fight through it, I'm sick, and I, I just have never had compassion for people like that, and they're calling out of work, and I'm like, oh my gosh. But a few months ago, I actually was about to, uh, uh, to film one of my messages, and I was in my office going over my message, practicing, and all of a sudden, my, my vision became really blurry. I mean, to the point where I couldn't even read. I started sweating, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I knew something was wrong. I went to the doctor, and he said, you have a migraine. It was one of the scariest times ever. I mean, I thought I was going blind, and it made me have a huge newfound compassion for people who suffer from from migraines. So I just want to show you um, how being more compassionate can be helpful for you and our entire world. So number one is if you're more compassionate, it'll, it'll create less stress in your life and less anxiety. Number two is there's a greater happiness when you are more compassionate. The genuine desire to help others naturally brings out happiness and fulfillment in our lives. Number three is you understand yourself and others more. See, when we practice compassion, we gain a richer experience of what other people are going through. This helps us understand ourselves more and develop a greater self-awareness and understanding for other people. And number four is is just crazy. This boggles me, but it speeds up recovery from diseases when we're more compassionate. This is one reason compassion is so vital and important in the medical industry. Medical practitioners that are more compassionate have noticed patients healing faster and regaining their health more quickly. Number five is if we're more compassionate, less 
road rage. That's right, I said it. <laughs> Imagine the slow driver in front of you and he looks lost and confused and forgets to signal before stopping and you're like, oh my goodness. And when you think and act with compassion, you will be more patient with this person. You'll realize that maybe this person's having a bad day or they're just a nervous driver. It goes a lot further in becoming angry, frustrated, and impatient. Trust me, I know. I used to live in Miami, all right? Now, and, and, and number six is how, how being more compassionate will help you in this world is compassion is contagious. Jesus was contagious because he was so compassionate. So why can't our compassion be so contagious and help change this world? Compassion changes lives and the life that it often changes most is yours. Let's be more like Jesus and show compassion. Dear God, we just ask that you help us in this next week of our life to be more compassionate and look through the lenses of your eyes and be more compassionate to ourselves, to our family, to our friends, and to our world. And in your name I pray, amen.